What's up you guys, Sigma Bellas here and today we're gonna to react to a video. I can't believe we're we're gonna to react to this one. And you ain't gonna believe this, but we're gonna to react to a damn video that's called Barney Tanks a Dump. Now why the fuck would I wanna watch that? I mean that mm, when it comes to bathroom situation, that's your business. I don't wanna see anybody taking a fucking dump. I mean it's just stupid. I mean I I, I why would I react to that? But someone keeps on saying, oh, you might like it, it's funny and all, and, and, and I was like, oh, fuck. So I came across this video, and it looks like it, we all know him, Barney the Dinosaur, and I can't believe that so many people would watch this because it has like, like on this video, it probably has like 170k views. I, I don't know, but I guess we're gonna have to find out ourselves. But anyways, if you guys want to check out this video, the link will be a subscription down below. And uh, let's just check this video out, which I, I'm not. I'm not very happy to react this one. I mean, I mean, this shit's gonna be disgusting. So um, let's get to it. Well, I'll be back, kids. <laughs> Still pandas. <laughs> Oh, do I gotta go? Open the door here. Oh, pull down my pants. Oh! That's oh. My God! Why? here <laughs> busy right now <laughs> oh. we got someone wants to kill you Barney Barney is this Big Bird come out Barney this sounds like Big Bird will you just wait a minute <laughs> oh! Oh, that was stupendous! <laughs> Oops, here comes another one. Oh, wait, my little dinosaur butt there. <laughs> Coming! Here I come, kids! What type of shit are you people making me react to? I mean, I don't think, in this video, I don't think that it's funny or whatever. I, th I just find this fucking disgusting. And thank God they did not show the whole damn imagery. Because really, I don't want to know. I didn't want to see the whole damn details or anything like that. And plus, this video doesn't change me a bit because, well, I already knew a long time ago that Barney got ended up getting arrested by touching kids, which I already knew that was going to come. I mean, I could totally see this. Barney sat right next to a kid and just looks at him, smiles sinisterly, right rubbing his leg. I could totally see that happening. Even though I watched that TV show since I was three, but. I just find Barney now very disturbing. And watching this stupid ass video with Barney taking a shit doesn't help a bit at all. And not this TV show that was kind of messed up. You know what? Screw it. I'm just going to ruin the whole damn uh, old TV shows that we watched since kids. First off, I'm going to start with Between the Lines. Between the Lines, sadly, the TV show had to end. Not just because the actors got tired of the show and wanted to retire, but it's because little Leona caught an old pervert taking in nudie pictures of a girl on the computer. Therefore, almost changed the show, named Between That Ass. And they didn't like that a bit, because they don't want to pimp out the show. We all know Bob the Bitter can fix everything, but can't fix the solution. Like he tried to be a woodcutter. Taking down the tree was the easy part, but landing it was the hard part. Uh oh, watch out. Here it goes, and it's going the wrong way! Oh my gosh! Bob the Builder, can we fix it? Bob the Builder, nope, it's fucked. Bob the Builder is very helpful with people, he even helped the mob by covering up bodies in concrete. So Boomer Food teaches kids about animals, but it had to end because the lemur would eventually die soon. They never say they live forever, but at least he would hang out with Harambe the gorilla and Cecil the lion. JJ the jet plane has finally ended, thank God. 
Because one, it's just a horrible TV show. They got a messed up human face on a plane, which it's a total bullshit. And second, I think the TV show had been accused for 9-11. Well, how do you know that? Well, obviously, one of them is brown. And the other did a kamikaze once before. I would love to have a dragon as a friend. That would be awesome. I have no problem with dragon tails. It's just that the ritual was a problem. A friend of mine tried it, and I never heard of him ever since. I wish, I wish with all my heart to fly with dragons with a land of heart. Did it work? <laughs> oh, fuck yes. Like every horror story, the black man dies first. I miss you, Tyrese. Uh, LaTroy? Damn! <laughs> I already forgot the poor bastard's name. Since the new policy since Trump built a wall, Maya, Miguel, and their family had moved back to their country alongside Diego and Dora. They did try to move to Alabama, but it didn't work out very well. This is Alabama. We speak English. If you want to live here, learn it. It's a tragic. But hey, you gotta learn sometimes. Sorry, Boots. You can't stay in the United States, now you can go back to Mexico. But there is per CDC regulations, so... Another medical we had to deal with, start at the airport, people wondered where did AIDS come from? Well, short story, George met a man, went into the back room, did it, and then the man had AIDS. So why did you think everyone called him Curious George? Because that's why. Never trust a man with a yellow hat. And finally, we get to Clifford the Big Red Dog. There's about 50 books about him. Seven books about Narnia that cover the birth and death of the nation, mice with swords, and a lion who's a god. They did it in seven books. 50 books about Clifford, and they all tie exact same thing in the story. Look how big that dog is. That's it. He's bigger than the firehouse, bigger than Thanksgiving. Who gives a shit? You drew him big! Made him bigger than the people! Tell a real story, like neighbor mad at Clifford in the story. Here's how it goes. Your dog just shit in my yard. Clifford didn't do anything. All that I can see is a big log laying on your yard. That's not a log, that's his shit! And then they had to get a couple of crate drivers to pick it up and dump it into the ocean. Well, they can't burn him because the stank would fill up the whole neighborhood. Next book, Clifford gets in heat. News reporter comes in. Breaking news, couple of houses got smashed. Women and children running for their lives. Next book, Clifford gets neutered. We all know what happens in that story. Next book, Clifford gets put down. Here's what happens. Clifford steps on the policeman and shatters his spine. And it's devastating to the community. He hangs on for two months, then dies. And then there's a whole funeral with bagpipes and everybody's crying. Clifford gets a death penalty. There's a whole book of his appeal process. The cop's wife shouts, I want that dog dead. And then he goes to the chair and they shave all of his fur off. And now he's Clifford the big pink dog. And they put him in a big electric chair where the whole town got together and built. And I think that sums it all up that I smashed uh, everyone's just favorite uh, kids TV shows. And then I might come across uh, probably one of the videos that, um, that I've probably heard of. Someone told me to react to another video with uh, the ghetto version of, um, of Sesame Street. I don't know how that's going to turn out, but... Um, yeah, I might check that one out too, but at least this one may not be much as bad as the one I just reacted to. Anyways, again, if you guys want to check out the original video, the link will be on subscription down below. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, comment below, subscribe, share, give it a thumbs up, do whatever. So, uh, thanks for watching.